click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the conversion of the Fisher projection formula for the fructose that is D fructose into the hot projection formula. And now in this topic I am going to talk about the conversion of the Fisher projection formula for the D ribose into the Fisher projection formula. So how we can convert it? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. So friends, here I'm going to talk about that is the conversion of Fisher projection formula of D ribose. So let us understand that is what is the structure of the D ribose. So D ribose is nothing but it consists of five carbon atoms and it is basically a polyhydroxy aldehyde or basically we could also call it as aldopentose. So in that case, so talking about the first carbon atom, so therefore the first carbon atom consists of CHO while the rest of the carbon atom that is I'm going to talk about over here that is the last one it will consist of CH2OH and in between there will be three carbon atoms so therefore one, two, three. So this as you can see that is there are three that is chiral carbon atoms that is one, two and three and here basically on the right hand side there is a presence of OH group over here. Here also there is a presence of OH group, OH and on the opposite side there is hydrogen, hydrogen and hydrogen. So this is nothing but this is a Fisher projection formula for D ribose and here the word D it represents that is dextroform so here we can see that is the last that is chiral carbon atom in this case so here this is the one in which the OH is present on the right hand side and that's the reason the name is D ribose over here but it has also been found that is this is a levo rotatory this is a levo rotatory and that's the reason the name of this one could be also called as D minus ribose and for this only we have to give that is or we have to convert the Fisher projection formula of D ribose into the Hoth projection formula. So now let us understand that is how we can convert this one. So for that we have to consider or we have to give the numbers to this one. So therefore I will give the number to this as carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4 and so suppose the first that is what I'm going to talk about is suppose if this is nothing but the aldehyde group. So the aldehyde group can be written as that is C double bond O here there is H. So this is the first carbon atom talking about the next carbon atom. So here basically this is the next carbon atom and here basically we can find the OH which is on the right hand side. So in that case we have to put that is OH towards downward and this is nothing but we are going to approach a hot position formula and that's reason we are doing this. So this is the second carbon atom and now let's move to the next one that is the third carbon atom. So this is the third carbon atom to which basically the OH group is attached on the right hand side according to the Fisher position formula. So now here we see according to Howard position formula it will be present at the lower side and opposite to that that is a hydrogen atom. On this case basically we can find a carbon atom that is the fourth carbon atom that is I am going to talk about. So this is the fourth carbon atom to which basically we can find there is a presence of OH, there is a presence of CH2OH which is the fifth carbon atom and this is the hydrogen. So here we see I could make that is the hydrogen is towards the downward direction while talking about the next group that is CH2OH group is on this side and the other one is OH. I could write it in this form. So therefore we have carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So based on this structure it will be very much easy so as to convert uh, the Fisher projection formula into a Hoth projection formula. So in that case let me give you the other information that is so as to convert this structure into a cyclic structure obviously we have to treat it with acid. So in that case suppose if we are treating it with acid which is nothing but a reversible reaction and in that case suppose if we treat it with acid so in that case the hydrogen it will approach the oxygen over here that is for the carbonyl group because in this case the carbonyl in the carbonyl group that is the oxygen is more electronegative so that's the reason it will approach towards here and this is how basically we could find that is so the product that is what we could get is I would draw over here that is this is oxygen atom to which basically the carbon atom was attached and this was the fifth carbon atom that is CH2OH and this was H over here so therefore this is the fourth carbon atom and to which basically we have formed this structure and to which basically here there is OH here there is OH there is hydrogen atom over here there is hydrogen atom over here and here basically the oxygen it will be attached with the hydrogen but it will acquire a positive charge and towards this 
have to satisfy the valency of carbon so here there is a presence of hydrogen atom over here and here also I have not fulfilled so let me introduce the other valency that is hydrogen over here so in this case we understand that is this is an unstable molecule so for that what happens is the lone pair of electron that is on the oxygen atom so therefore it will attack this carbon atom and thereby the two electrons between the carbon and the oxygen it will be transferred towards this protonated oxygen atom over here and that is how basically we could get the following structure and yes we could also get to know that is the hydrogen ion has been eliminated and this is how basically this is nothing but a kind of acid catalyzed reaction so in that case basically we could find that is there is a formation of product and the product that are been formed are basically the two anomers and talking about the first one that is let me talk about the first possibility or the first anomer that is what we could get from this structure so therefore the structure that is what we could get is here suppose if we are concerned with this oxygen atom so this oxygen atom is connected to this carbon atom and even this carbon atom because as we have understood that is there is a formation of bond over here so therefore this is the carbon atom so talking about the rest of the two carbon atoms over here that is this is what I am mentioning about and here there is presence of CH2OH so where we have to write the CH2OH over here and we have to write the H over here and here that is a hydrogen atom OH here also there is H and on the lower part there is OH and now this is the main part and because of which we could give whether it is an alpha form or whether it is a beta form so it has been found that is if the OH is present on the lower side and if the hydrogen is present on the upper side as you can see so in this case basically we can find that is this OH and this CH2OH these are the these are the larger groups larger groups based on the molecular weight and based on the attachment over here because here basically oxygen is basically attached to the carbon atom and here the carbon atom is attached to the carbon atom so here we can find that is a hydrogen atom over here and here also we can find hydrogen atom over here so therefore this is nothing but a trans structure that is what we could get and that's the reason that the name of this that is this anover that is what we have got over here is known as alpha D minus but this is nothing but a structure of that is ribose so that's the reason the name of this because it is very much similar to that of the furinose so that's the reason the name of this one could be given as alpha d ribo furinose so this is one of the anomer and now let me talk about the next anomer so the next anomer it will be very much similar to that of this only the only difference is here we can find that is there is a change in the position of the OH group while the rest of the thing it will be same so therefore this configuration that is I am going to talk about I could represent it with the help of a diagram over here so where we can find that is the oxygen is in the middle and this is how basically we have got the other valencies also the other valencies here that is CH2OH the hydrogen atom over here here there is hydrogen here there is OH towards here there is hydrogen OH and on this basically on this carbon atom we, if we find the OH is on the upper side and the hydrogen is on the lower side so in that case we could find that is this OH and this is a bigger group so therefore they both are in a that is cis positions and that's the reason that we could call this as beta D minus ribofurinose and that's it so this is how basically we can convert the Fisher projection formula for ribose that is for D ribose into the Hoff projection formula and that's it thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much